Good morning, Miami. This is Lorraine Carey. I am happy to have your uh, questions here. And I just want to uh, emphasize that I'm so sorry. Um, our time together was, was um, messed up by another tech platform glitch. Here we go. First question has to do with asking me whether this book is a how-to uh, as a guide for awkward conversations between generations about death and dying um, in a Black American setting, or whether it's a lesson about exploring the meaning of family um, that, that you know different generations should implement uh, on the road to a more fulfilling family life. It's a very good question and it's a complex one. It is not a how-to. This is a memoir. It's a memoir because I'm trying to tell a story. This is what we do. We tell stories to capture meaning from life. It's less about how to prescribe than about how to describe. Um, the meaning that I couldn't say clearly um, except through telling this complex story about life and love and death. Second question um, asks what the following sentences mean. This is from Lady Sitting. Um, asking Nana, asking her to write a will, she implied, disrespected my ancestors. The old under the cart shelter story was my white looking grandmother's way of playing the dozens for once. She outblacked me. This is about the ways that we shut each other down when we're um, faced with unwelcome requests. I was asking Nana to write a will. She did not want to write a will. She did not have ways to argue back to me, to tell me th there were no good rational ways. So she used a, a strategy and the strategy was to circle around through family and ancestors, something that she knew we both um, respected, and to say that, well, her father had just taken uh, her, no, 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 her grandfather had taken her father and his brother under the cart shelter. And that had been good enough for them, including her father, whom she respected more than anybody, and it ought to be good enough for me. Why wasn't it? Uh, it, it, it was a, it's a strategy, um, sort of a, uh, uh, a way of circumventing the argument and shutting down the request. The third talks about religion in the AME church, that they seem to be portrayed um, as a key reference point for both good and bad. The quote given here is, God was always with us, but far away, watching and participating, giving, loving, jealous, all-powerful, all-loving, and yet capable, somehow even willing to let us stumble and fall and suffer and die. To which our correct, correct response was, thy will be done. The question is, so was religion a source of inspiration or protection or an excuse for the way things turned out? Um, what, what I understand, um, from my own life or feel like is that religion is a structure. It's a structure that we human beings have created to contain our expressions of our spirituality. It's a structure to, con to not only to contain them, but to help us reach into places that we can't get to without um, ritual and language and the kind of sensory um, stimulation and rep that we get, say, in communion or with incense or uh, with the smell of a building. The feeling we get, oh God, we know it now, don't we? The feeling we get when a bunch of us are all together. Uh, these are very old structures, right? The Abrahamic religions have their old structures. We have updated them according to our culture. AME Church updated 
uh, Christianity to include African-American self-reliance, empowerment, uh, compassion for black people. It was a way of doing Christianity and trying to take out of it one of the poisons that had been injected in um, in Europe, which was um, which was a, um, an assumption that black people were less loved by God. That's a poison. If you take that out, then you can get back to a structure or get to a new structure. Um, but the fact is those are, are structures that also include lots of old patterns, right from um, ancient Judaism through first century Judaism, which included the followers of Christ, and all through all of the centuries afterwards. Our structure contained both liberation and oppression, spiritually, soulfully, in terms of our language, and in the ways that we interpreted it and changed it. I'll stop there because a YouTube that goes longer than six minutes is horrible. And I'll do another one uh, starting with the next uh, question. I just want to point out, however, that this is my grandmother's old uh, barrel chair. It's here. It's eventually going to my daughter, but we don't have a car big enough to take it up to her in Vermont. Uh, and behind me are the snake plants that Nana loved. Um, I'm not sure if it still includes one of those. I rooted a lot of them that had sort of gotten very dry with her, and I have them all over the house. This may or may not, don't wanna lie, uh, may or may not, but somewhere in this house, I have some, could be this, that includes um, shoots from snake plants that she had in her house from the time I was born. See you soon.